Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome back to Team Sports. Again, it's so good to be back. We got so much to catch up on. Um, I don't know if I've been watching, but I just got to talk about them. Ja Morant, the boy is ready. He is ready. He's going to take this league by storm. Um, I'm quite sure you, you guys know it or feel it, but it's coming. He's definitely box office. He's prepared. He has Memphis Grizzlies ready to be on the national stage to start getting national games because he's that exciting. Um, there's so much we I want to go into about John Morant, but before we get started, I would like for you to like this podcast and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when we're uploading new content. Let's get right to it. Um, ja Morant is exciting. I mean, uh, I talked about it in a couple of episodes before about how um, he came in his sophomore year and he was very good slasher still, uh, attacked the basket, but his jump shot wasn't really working that well. And uh, me and my nephew Earl, who's really missed, he'll be back soon, by the way. Um, we talked about this in one of our episodes, Don't Poke the Bear. And we talked about how he needed to work on a jump shot, and he didn't really have it, that chance to work the, the way he normally could. He was injured that summer, going, going into his sophomore year. And plus, we was going through COVID. People couldn't get in the gyms like 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 they could. I'm well, I'm quite sure some of y'all say, "Well, he's a millionaire. He, he can he can do it." But COVID was a little different monster. We you couldn't work with with certain people, you know, um, shooting instructors and things like that. Plus, he again he was hurt. He was injured, and um, so he went through a sophomore year. We saw an, an improvement, and now he's in his third season. And you could tell he'd been doing the work. <laughs> He's been doing the work in the off season, just like most young rookies should, you know. And you know he was drafted number two behind Zion, but that looked like it's a big mistake, you know. Zion haven't haven't been able to stay healthy, or whatever it is that's going on with Zion. And John Morant is definitely should have been the, the number one pick so far this early in their careers but he has worked on his jump shot which is not automatic but it's respectful you got to respect it because the thing about it is once he gets the jump you can't stop him and that's what we we, we talked about in the in the don't poke the bear uh content that we, we me and my nephew spoke about and in there, we said if he got a jump shot, he'd be almost unstoppable. And I'm telling you, if you watch what's going on with the Memphis Grizzlies, and and big up to the to the organization because I see the pieces and things that they're putting around them, and those guys come to play and they play as a team. And John Morant is leading the way, and as young as he is, he's leading the way like a veteran, and 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 he's a pure leader with a lot of heart, and you can see his DNA. Is all over that team. I don't know what you guys be looking for as far as um, the game is concerned or watching the NBA games. Some of us are just straight fans of certain teams and hate everybody else. I'm not that kind of fan. I, I, I watch players that excite me, to make me want to go home and not miss their game. And John Morant is that type of athlete. And if you haven't watched him, trust me, the next time you get a chance, those of you have that have league pass, you know what I'm talking about. John Morant is about to take this league and st- and he has help. It's not just John Morant. Um, and he was out injured earlier this season and his, t- his team still was winning games. And then when you put him in the mix, they're a dangerous team. And I'm telling you, when the playoffs start, 
John Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies is going to be a tough out. Last year, the, uh, in the play-in game, he, he went up head toe-to-toe with Steph. And he won that, you know. And Steph is Steph. And so we kind of throw that to the back burner. But as a sophomore, he, he sent Steph home. You got to remember that. He sent Steph home and, and got his team into the playoffs. This year, I don't see a play-in game for them. Uh, John Morant is ready to take this league by storm. I don't know what you think about it. Leave it in the comments. If you think he's exciting, if you think he's just a temporary star, no, I'm moving him up to the superstar status. He's he's going up against the the superstar of the league, and he's coming out on top. No. He's doing everything. He's playing defense. He's blocking shots. He's rebounding. He's getting assists. He's knocking down the 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 the, the jump shots. He's knocking down floaters. He's getting all the way to the basket. Um, he's making his teammates better, and. He loves the game. And I'm telling you, he's not playing. He is coming in to the NBA to take it over. And I love his thinking. I don't know what you think about it. Leave it in the comments because if you look at most young players, they got talent, but but they're not box office. He is entertaining. He's a winner. And, and and this is what we this is what we we pay our money to see. John Morant, box office. I don't know. You tell me what you think about it. Cause here at Team Sports, we kind of loving it. And uh I'm excited for his future. And not just his future, because he's making his future right now. Again, leave comments. Let me know what you think about John Morant and how exciting he is. And the Memphis Grizzlies. We're gonna do a lot more on the Memphis Grizzlies, and as the, as a team, because it's, it's just not John Morant. John Morant is the leader of that team, but they get it done, and they're kind of deep. So, I mean, I can go on and on about John Morant. I just want to see what you guys. I'm just throwing. I'm gonna keep throwing little tidbits out there of players, of teams that's coming up, and uh. Just to see what you, you think about it, Dream Teamers. Uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and the like button. And we'll see you real soon. Peace.